Starting with your grandfather, do you know anything about his family, his ancestry at all? I don't. My sister Dolores knows way more than me. She probably <laughs> would cringe at this moment. She's the queen of the gossip. Yeah. She's the <laughs> repository of the gossip. <laughs> Dolores spends a lot of time investigating. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dolores. I am Viola Davis's sister, and I'm really excited about exploring her episode of Finding Your Roots. Viola Davis is Hollywood royalty, one of only a handful of actors ever to win an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. When did you first realize that acting was something that you could do professionally? At 14, I decided I'm going to be a professional actress. By the time I got to college, then it became very apparent that I had to pay rent, I had to have health insurance. <laughs> so then I said, I can't be an actor. Maybe I need to be a teacher. Uh -huh. I took a bunch of English courses, mm -hmm. and I was more mm -hmm. depressed than I'd ever been in my life. It only changed when my sister Dolores said, Viola, you said you always wanted to be an actor. I said, how am I going to be an actor? She was like, I don't know. I just know <laughs> that you loved it. Mm -hmm. So do it. Viola was never happy unless she was acting. What other advice would I have given her? You have to put yourself out there. As soon as I did that, the depression lifted. So when someone asks you, Viola Davis, who are your people? Where do you come from? What do you say? I always say I came from Singleton Plantation in St. Matthew, South Carolina. I was born in my grandmother's um, sharecropper's house. So you don't think of yourself as a native of Rhode Island? I would call that my home. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting that when I talk about where my home, I always talk about where I was born. Viola and I and my sisters, we all struggled because we were growing up in a community where there were no African Americans. It was difficult not knowing what it meant to be African American. As a teacher, one of the things I tell my students every single year is who I am. I was born on the John Singleton Plantation, 1963, and I'm proud of where I come from. And I want you to eventually get to that point where you're okay with who you are and where you came from. Viola's great-great-grandfather, a man named Emmanuel Howe, was born into slavery sometime around 1840. Searching for evidence of his life, we found him in an unexpected place, the State Archives of South Carolina, on a pension application asking to be compensated for time spent with the Confederate Army. Wow. Viola, have you ever heard of a, a black person getting a pension for being a servant? For the no, Confederates? not at all. What's it like to learn that? It tells me that somebody paid a price for me to be here. When Viola says someone paid a price for me to be here, it goes back even further than that, that someone made the middle passage, that that's where it began. Digging deeper, we discovered a white man named H.C., or Hamilton Pauling. Hamilton was a Confederate soldier. He joined the rebels when he was 16 years old. And we believe that his parents owned Viola's ancestor and compelled him to accompany their son into battle. 16 years old. Your great-great-grandfather would have been about 23 years old at the time Hamilton enlisted. For our survival so long, I think that um, with African Americans, we've sucked down some major trauma in order to muster on. That's exactly what it must have been like. I wonder how Emmanuel felt being with a 16-year-old boy who's so willing to fight for the Confederate side when he was probably in the back of his mind thinking, I want my freedom. After emancipation, Emmanuel signed a sharecropping contract with the man who had enslaved him and went back to work in fields that he'd likely been working 
since he was a child. Even so, surveying Emmanuel's life, Viola chose to find a note of hope. This is a day that I'm proud of me. Me, my sister Dolores, my sister Diane, a lot of my family members have broken generational curses. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because we dared to dream big and we dared to and just what it takes. just dig in deep in the dirt and filth and trauma of our childhood and want better for our lives. And not that any of our relatives didn't want better, they all did. But my story is different. And I'm proud of that. It was so wonderful for Viola to mention my name and in the same breath saying that we broke that cycle because we tore down the door, okay, to get to where we are. It was difficult, but it helped to prepare Viola to become an artist and it helped prepare me to teach the children that I have in front of me at the same high school that I went to. It's helped me to understand the struggles of my students and to let them know that there is a way out. Mm -hmm.